Hey guys, I wanted to show you guys what a morning in my life looks like when I want to feel recharged and centered. I try to stick to a routine because I find that when I do, my day just flows better naturally. First thing to do is not to scroll endlessly on social media because when I first wake up, I don't really want to see what everyone else is doing or already doing because it can make me feel like I'm behind already in the day. And I always need coffee, a nice warm cup of coffee to wake my soul. And boy, does it need waking up in the morning. I try to sleep early and wake up as early as possible. But since it's been a unique year, I try not to be too hard on myself. A little vanilla creamer or toffee nut syrup just really elevates the coffee. I greet my cat and I feed her and then I prep to make some breakfast. Something simple, some days it's sauteed greens, some days it's oatmeal and some days it's just simple fruit. I used to intermittent fast but I felt like it made me really grumpy and I lost a lot of mass. So I try to eat moderately in the mornings. A warm hearty breakfast with rice is usually quite common in Asian households. It's a really warm breakfast. To get my dose of human voice interaction, since I do live alone, I like to eat with a podcast or a YouTube video. It really does make me feel less alone. Currently, I'm listening to Bill Nye the Science Guy podcast and Breaking Beauty. I try to get in a workout in the morning also if I feel up to it. It's all about listening to your body. Yeah, I guess listening to my body. Any kind of movement is good for the body and I know, I know. Sometimes the most difficult things are the ones that benefit you the most in the long run. If I'm doing cardio, I'll fast before, but if I'm doing weights, I'll have a meal and then a pre-workout after. I let the meal sell first. Even a good 15-minute yoga session is better than no workout at all. I'm currently following Carolyn Gervan's weight training and also sometimes I play Pamela Reef in the background. And while the pre-workout is kicking in, I like to plan out my day, either for content, scheduling for social obligations, or just gathering my thoughts about what I want to accomplish in the day. I don't get to do this every day, but I've been trying to show up even if I'm not showing up perfectly. Perfectionism has a way of stunting me, you guys know this, and a year ago I would just not do anything if I'm not doing it perfectly. For example, if I don't allot a whole hour to work out, I'd rather not do it at all. So I'm trying to change that. Perfection is a construct anyways, and unless you're a binary code, nothing in this life is perfect. You can only do what you can. If I'm feeling stuck, I remind myself to take a deep breath and remember that every new moment is a new moment. Does that make sense? Like, even if your day doesn't start perfectly, after taking a deep breath, it, it can start again. That takes a lot of pressure off from having a quote-unquote perfect day or perfect morning. After that, I go in with my skincare, and skincare is a huge part of my life because it's one of those things where you really get to sit down for yourself even if everything else is hectic. It's my grounding active meditation because I don't get to meditate all the time. It reminds me that I am a living, breathing person that needs tender care, and I forget that from time to time. I've been using this Youth to the People Superfood Cleanser for over two years now, and it's definitely one of my favorites. It's very popular for good reason. It works really well. It's one of those staple cleansers that I always go back to, and it's the perfect gel texture that lathers so richly and can be used morning and night, and also for all skin types. I have oily combination skin and it works really really well. It's 100% vegan and it contains a bunch of skin loving ingredients like green tea, kale, spinach, and vitamin C, E, and K. It effectively removes impurities from the skin without stripping it like a lot of foaming cleansers do. Once a week, I like to use a clay mask to treat myself to the Super Clay Purify Plus Clear Power Mask from Youth to the People is a supercharged clay mask type with the niacinamide and BHA to gently exfoliate and extract excess oils from the skin. It also contains kombucha. The texture is really really creamy and such a spreadable clay. BHA will help tackle pesky blackheads and breakouts. You can also use it as a spot treatment if you want. 
While I'm letting the clay mass do its magic, I like to gua sha my scalp for circulation. Start with the back of the neck to warm up and then go from the front of the scalp to the back in zigzag motions. I've noticed that re this really actually helps my tech neck and stiff, stiff necks in the mornings. You'll feel some warmth and some spots that are sore but sore in a good kind of way. The jade comb kind of breaks up the tense muscles in the back and if you're a side sleeper like me, you will know sometimes you wake up with just really really sore neck. Wash off the mask after 10 minutes and finish up with your preferred serum. For mornings, I prefer vitamin C or Sika serum for redness and just to control breakouts. And then I go with a generous layer of sunscreen. Even if you're staying in, sunscreen is so important because it not only prevents sun damage but also protects your skin against skin cancer. I really like this one by Paula's Choice. If I am meeting someone or having a Zoom meeting, I'll also put on some makeup depending on how much time I have and how I'm feeling about the day. A good tint of moisturizer and brows usually does the trick for daily makeup. And for me, makeup is not only a tool for, I guess, self-preservation and self-expression, but I guess in a small scale, it's uh, my way of breaking down gender roles from my little corner of the world. And though not everything has to have a meaning attached to it, it it's nice to feel that way. Uh, it could also just be a process that you enjoy. And that's typically it. My morning is generally a variation of this routine. Uh, it varies between podcasts and audiobooks uh, and makeup, makeup looks, I guess but it's a simple yet effective way and it takes care of the big three for me, which is my mind, my body, and my spirit. I just also wanna remind you guys that you are the most important people in your life. So invest in your health spiritually and mentally. Also, don't be too hard on yourself. We can't do all of these. Meet yourself where you are first so you can get to where you wanna go. I also wanted to say thank you to you, to the people for sponsoring this video. Their products are amazing and speak for themselves. So don't forget to check them out. Till next time, thank you guys. I love you guys.